Hey guys, this is Rainier Pollard with your 30 minute abs and arms video. You're gonna need some light and medium weights, a great attitude and be ready to burn. Okay y'all, so I have Ellie on my right doing my modifications and Tara on my left who's sticking with me for all these <laughs> arms and abs movements. We're gonna be complex, we're gonna really challenge you and we're starting <laughs> out with a figure eight movement. So we're gonna let our arms just swing side to side. The right hand leads as it goes towards the right hip. The left hand leads as it goes towards that left hip. We're warming up the arms, the shoulders, and also we're getting into those abdominals. Now, you can make this into more of an anti-rotation movement by keeping the trunk a little bit more stable. So although you see my hips swaying a bit, you can really flex those abs, squeeze your butt, and try to keep your hips a little bit more still and speed up the arms and you are gonna feel those obliques work. So round and round we go, round and round we go. We're more than halfway there. I want another 20 seconds here and just allow yourself to speed up and feel it. There we are. How are you all feeling? Good. <laughs> so we're really gonna get into these arms today. We're immediately gonna be getting onto the floor. So let's quickly speed up and get the blood flowing through that upper body. Just three seconds, two, one, and let's take it down. So we're getting into a beast position, one of my favorite positions to get into. Um, it's a little easier to stain on your upper body because it's a shorter than a regular plank as in length. So my hands are directly underneath my shoulders. My knees are directly underneath my hips. I'm gonna curl my toes underneath my feet, lift my knees just a couple inches. My booty doesn't get any higher than my shoulders. Actively pushing into the ground, trying to maintain a nice neutral spine. Now, Tara and I are gonna shift our hips side to side and get a little rotation through the spine. Ellie, on the other hand, is lowering her knees to the ground, which is not only a good core exercise and warm up, but also a little bit of relief for anyone that does not want to stay on their hands this early in the workout. We've got another 20 seconds here. No need to speed through the rotation. Just easily control. As I rotate, I lift the opposite knee and take it underneath the body and let that core work. Feel those obliques. Ooh, interesting sensation. Ooh. I like, I approve. Trying to lock out those arms really gets more into that core as well. Rest. Okay, Ooh. coming down low. If you needed a child's pose there, you can have it. But we're gonna come right up. We're gonna go right into the same figure right movement. But now, we're not going to a full lunge or anything, but we are stepping back the opposite leg. So my left foot goes back, my hands go to the right. As my hands come overhead, leg comes back forward and switch legs. So boom and boom. And if you need to keep it slow until you understand it, feel free. You can also really follow your hands with your head and that will allow you to get deeper into the twist. So I understand it might make you a little bit dizzy, but it's worth it for as far as your range of motion, really reaching all the way to the back of the room, then taking those hands up overhead once again. And then you always have the option of speeding this bad boy up if you can keep that coordination together. I like to keep my hands closer together so they feel like one unit throughout the motion. And last five seconds, three seconds, and finish it. We're going right back down to the ground to that beast position. Now, if you were with Ellie on the modifications and you want to try to take your knees across the body, feel free. What Tara and I are going to do is take the knee across the body and meet it with the opposite elbow. So first, let's get into that beast position, push the ground away, be very active about it, rotate, and we tap back to center. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. And yes, both of my feet are rotating as I get it. Not too far, just a little rotation. We're not getting a full kick through, keeping that knee bent, tapping that elbow gently and controlling your limbs back down to the ground. We're more than halfway there. As I always say, it's not just about the hand and foot that are moving, it's about the arm and leg that are staying behind and grounding you. Four, 
three, two, and rest. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. consider yourself warmed up oh, yeah. and we are going to get into the workout. We're gonna grab onto some light weight. We're going with a long arm movement to get that rear delt row. So let's put the weight in our left hand and we're gonna lean into a side lunge, get low, put as much weight on the right leg as possible. And I want you to exhale and open that chest, taking the back of your hand towards the ceiling. The longer you can keep that arm, the better. There's no reason to try to speed this motion up. We want to keep it nice and controlled. So exhale, lift, and ease back down. Don't let it just fall with gravity, control it. Last couple moments, three, two, and we're just going to take it in the other hand, switch sides. We don't need a big break, and let's move. Exhale, and open. That's it. So here, Although this is an upper body movement, you can feel that you have some stability work with the lower body. I might be a little bitter because my legs are very sore, but <laughs> you just keep on trucking in life. Okay, rest. We're going back to the first side. And if you want to make things a little harder, don't put the hand on the leg. Keep it off. Let's make it happen. Go. Exhale, I want you to keep your breathing very regulated. Don't hold that breath. As you can see, my chest is over the knee. We're still in that hinge position. My abs are tight. I'm pushing my booty back, trying to lock out my elbow, lock that tricep. Four, three, two, rest. Come up, come over, and we get right into that last round. Okay, lean in. And again, if you took away your support arm on the other side, be sure to do the same here. We're not trying to rush. Our shoulders are staying away from the ears. Nice long neck, breathing through. I hear you breathing, Tara. I love it. <laughs> Come on. And if you feel like you're not controlling that weight, go lighter. This is one of those times where I am trying to implore. Rest you to go light with this weight because I want a nice controlled motion. Now we're going to come down to the ground. We're getting on the knees, so if you want to be a little more comfortable, fold the back of the mat, get down on these knees. And what I want you to do is get into a position where you're able to get a good cat and cow type motion. Now we're gonna be moving our spine through this range of motion, and we're still gonna get more rear delt work. So first, raise that right leg up to the sky. Then left leg, left hand only, exhale and open. So my right hand is pushing the ground away. Ellie's taking away her weights completely, right? She was using a three. I get it. Let me tell you, a three can be very difficult with this exercise. So if you want to take your weights away completely, you are still getting good work done. Yeah. One more. Very good. Rest. And this is one of those moments where if you want to get child's poses in, in between your, um, these lifts, I completely understand. Switch arms, left leg to the sky, and exhale, open up strong. So working unilaterally here, that's always a great way to get into that core. One side of the body at a time. And it's really efficient with your energy expenditure. That's why you can just keep moving throughout the workout. Keep a nice steady state of exercise going. People are very used to HIIT training, high intensity, but steady state is very good as well and should be a part of your weekly workout. Rest. Now, we can get a little bit more complicated with this last set. So now we're gonna be able to get a little bit more movement through the spine because I'm gonna allow you to bring that knee under, round that back, push the ground away with that right hand, exhale and open just the same to the position we've been moving through. Rather than keeping that leg in the air, allow it to come in, flex those abs, exhale, open, work that back. Flex the abs, exhale, open, work that back. Just a couple more, less than 15 seconds. Keep moving through, last set of the rear delt rows. Had it done in two different positions. 
working that full body and getting into those abs and back. Rest. Okay. One more go. Change sides. Same deal. Start with that right hand and left knee coming in underneath the body. My left hand pushing the ground away. Exhale, open. And back down. Inhale. Exhale to open. Just like so. I'm trying to take that left foot towards the sky. My left heel is trying to squash a bug that's on the roof. <laughs> Push it high. You're getting some good glute work in there, of course. But my abs are staying tight. I'm moving that back through a fuller range of motion. Inhale, exhale, open. Inhale, exhale, open. One more for good luck. We've got the time. And rest. Well done. If you'd like, you can come back for a nice child's pose. Just have a quick second. And then we're gonna turn over on the back and really focus on abdominals and the chest press. So you only need one dumbbell here because it's a chest press. I say we switch to a heavier weight because right now we were on a light weight because we did long arm. Now we're doing a shorter arm exercise. Bring your right hand has the weight, your left knee comes in, your right hand is up, your right foot is straight forward, and we're getting ourselves a bicycle. Rotate, exhale up, rotate, exhale up. So the first option you can have here is a lighter weight. But if your lower body feels like this is just a little bit too um, rough on you, raise your legs higher into the air and take some stress off your lower back. The lower those legs are, the higher the level of difficulty. I'll shoot it up. Nice controlled motion. I'm really letting my shoulder blades move and I'm pushing my belly button down into the ground to lift my shoulder blades. So sometimes people are like, my neck is hurting. And I know people think I'm being a smart aleck when I tell them, you have to put more pressure into your abdominals to lift, not try to pull on your head to give your neck support. Rest, very good job. So all we're gonna do is switch our um, dumbbell to the left. Put the right knee in, left leg straight out, left hand up, and let's lift that same bicycle. So to be very honest, the arm gets a little bit of rest, but as you can see, those abdominals Ooh. just keep on <laughs> Trucking. Ooh, yeah. So knowing that this is set to a four, huh, you've got an exciting <laughs> future ahead of you right now, y'all. Just an exciting future Ooh. of pain. <laughs> I did say be ready to burn. You, you can't did, say I didn't you tell did. anybody. You know, I'm on your side. I want you to succeed. I want to set up realistic expectations of what you're going to go through. <laughs> so I promise to burn. You got to get one. We can make it. We got this. We're in this. I like that. Keeping it positive, Tara. Let's go. And rest. Ooh. Okay. Now, we're going to up the ante. Left leg is straight up to the sky. Right hand is going to reach for that left toe. Right leg is straight. And let's keep that same bicycle going. But now, it's a scissor kick. So if you feel that you want to go to straight leg, but you need a modified version, bend the knee as it goes down to the ground or keep the knees bent just like they were in the bicycle, but maybe just a little bit longer than it was in the bicycle. It's all up to you. It's rough to ask you to go harder after your abs are already tired, but what Ooh. can I say? I mean. <laughs> oh. I've really been thinking about like switching my entire persona to like a Mr. T vibe. I pity the fool ah! who doesn't stay in some good bicycles and rest. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh. I'm sure there's gonna be like some millennials watching like, who's Mr. T? That's what Google. So <laughs> I Google's it's true. there, you know, it's true. <laughs> right leg up, left hand up, left leg forward, and let's make magic happen. Left hand reaches for that right toe. This is our last set. So if it's burning, well, that's right on time. Okay. Sometimes people are like, Renee, this hurts. I'm like, you came into a workout. If it's hurting, 
things are going as planned, you know? It's like celebrate the pain. This is what I wanted. It's what the body needs. Let's put it under stress and keep it popping and then give it the inspiration and want it to be stronger. So right now, if you're burning, your body should be thinking, what a great idea to grow some more muscle so this doesn't hurt as much next time. <laughs> Ooh, Good philosophy, yeah. right? Three, yeah. two, and rest. Okay, oh. that's the end of the workout. Thank you, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Okay, oh. we're gonna actually get the heart rate up a little bit while still thinking about that core training. I'm folding up the mat again because we're gonna be on the knees and I want you to be comfortable. So a little fold on the mat, right foot forward. Now what we're gonna do is have sprinter arms. So we're gonna have one hand coming behind the booty and the other hand going right to the shoulder, keep those fingers relaxed. And I want you to keep that range of motion. Stay tight through the center of your body, nice and tall. And I want you to move those arms with a fierceness. Don't let your hand get caught in your pocket. That won't feel good, but drive these arms. If you see your left knee is starting to bounce on the mat a little bit, that just means you're getting to your full sprint. We're more than halfway there, and I want you to try to challenge yourself to get faster and faster, y'all. Come on, faster and faster. Let's get it. Come on, stay tall. Stay tight in that midsection. What are we here to work? Arms and abs, y'all, arms and abs. Six, five, make it, make it all the way through, all the way, and rest. Good job. Everybody up. <sighs> so we got the kneeling position, and we work these arms and abs, but now we're gonna do it in a staggered position with the right leg forward. Now, you're gonna feel this in your right leg. I know, but there's a price to pay for working these abs and arms, okay? So lean into the right leg a bit, right knee over that right ankle, shoulder to hip, and let's run. So remember, you can always put your feet wider to make this a little bit easier, but if you really want to get into that high level, put as little weight on that back foot as possible. I'm literally almost barely putting 10% of my weight on my left toe. All of my weight is on my right heel, and I'm just running, honey. I'm just running. It's like, I'm at a party and someone tried to talk politics with me and I'm just like, no, no, let's run, let's run, baby. No, don't do this. This isn't <laughs> Facebook. We don't talk about this in person. You just run, just run. Uh, five seconds, come on, come on. Finish it out, finish it off. And rest. Did you see my arms went faster after I made that political joke? Yeah, That's how real like it was. I went faster. That was <laughs> whatever you could use to inspire you. Left leg in front, right knee down, nice and cushioned, feeling comfortable, hands up, and let's start it. Okay. You don't have to go zero to 60 in a second. You can build it as you feel more and more comfortable, but you do want to feel challenged. My right knee is down and my right glute is firing to keep me tall. My abs are in, my belly button is pulled in, I say that a lot because I mean it. I want you guys Ooh. to stay focused on it. That's right. <laughs> Woo is right. Okay, Tara. Ellie, you are awfully quiet over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like it. My goodness. <laughs> Let that brain work, y'all. They are right. When your brain is working, you are burning more calories. Fight, 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 and rest. Good job. Come back up. It's the last time I'm going to make you stand up today. <laughs> So let's make it worth it. Left foot is forward, right toe is back. Again, wider stance to make it easier, narrower stance with very little weight on the right toe, if that's what you need it to be. Shoulder to hip, let's run. Let's get it, lean into that left leg, and let's work, honey. Woo, run it up, run it up. Push these arms. Honestly, if you are a runner, or you just like to run, period, practicing arms only, can make you so much more efficient of a runner. So let's get this working. Pay attention to detail. Keep those abs tight. Get these last 20 seconds here so we can finish off on the ground, getting these obliques and abdominals burning, baby. Come on, 10 seconds. Finish out 
Move strong, stay inspired, keep it working. Ooh, yes, yes, and rest. Oh, left leg. Nice, I know, I was about to say my booty. <laughs> my booty was burning, y'all. My booty was burning. Okay, so we're coming down. We're gonna get right onto a side plank. Let's do the right side first because side on the bottom is gonna work harder. So right elbow down, regular side plank, good old fashioned. I wanna challenge you. 40 second side plank. If you need modifications, you can put the back knee down. I'll give you another option after we're up. Hips up high, stack the feet if you got it. Squeeze your booty, stay on your side, open your chest, okay? Now, when you stay open here, I want your left hand to come in front of your body and oh, to the side of your head and take your elbow towards the ground, tap it and bring it right up. Tap it easy and bring it right up, just like that. Easy. Okay, nothing rushed. We're just gonna get a few. Oh yeah. Really, only 40 seconds? Maybe you can handle harder. Maybe you can handle more. I think so. <laughs> Last one here. Rest. I love that Ellie on modifications like, yeah, let's go yeah, longer. Let's go. Tara's like, are you crazy? I'm like, oh, are yeah. you crazy? <laughs> Switch sides. Five seconds. Let's just start by coming up, lifting high. Now, as I was saying, you can keep your bottom knee down, but if at any time you're already in this position, you can just easily step the top foot to the front as well, and that'll give you just as much assistance. So, right elbow down towards the ground gently and right back up, just like that. No rushing. You should not hear your elbow touch the ground. Tap it, come up, squeeze your butt when you come back to the front, when you're looking at the front of the room. Okay. Some one of you, or some of you are gonna definitely notice that I made this 45 seconds. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Rainier wins in the end. <laughs> uh, and, Rest, very good job. Let's go back to the first side. Same deal. Now, um, instead of touching the ground, we're gonna take elbow to knee. But if you wanna leave your knee out of it, you can do what we did in the first set. So ready, bring it, and open it up. Bring it in, open up, just like that. Easy. Oh yes. Second time is the charm. Now, I'm gonna give you the option of making this a little bit, just a little bit harder. Keep that left leg off the right. Only 20 seconds to go. I promise this one is actually just 40 seconds. Oh no. I swear, I swear it. Oh, squeeze that butt. Keep your hips up high. You have eight seconds. It's all good. It's all good. Ooh, Tara, are you still in there? I'm, I'm hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> rest, good job. Ooh. Turn it back over. It's the last one on the left side. Okay. Let's start up. Hips high. And elbow to knee. And back. Just nice and calm. My left elbow is pushing into the ground. Being very active about what's seemingly my passive side. Deliberately lifting my hips higher and higher because they tend to fall as you get tired. Option. Keep that right leg in the air every time you reset. Oh yes. Keeping that full body active. If you were to take a picture of yourself and turn it right side up or turn it to the side, it should look like you're standing tall. Rest. Okay. Ooh. Stay lying right on this side. And what I want us to do next is um, a move straight out of some gymnastics, so expect it to be a little difficult. We're gonna lie like a dead fish on our side, and I want the top side of your body to pull up your hands and your feet as high as they can off the ground. I try to deliberately think about picking up my elbow. Now you can have the option of making this a lower body movement only. So looking over at Ellie, She's just doing that top leg, looking real cute. Just head in the hand. Because I know with this movement, a lot of times it really can feel um, like there's too much sensation going through on your neck. Really try to get the movement from that right side oblique. 
as we're coming up and down. Here's a little option. Hold it high for this last 10 seconds. 10, nine, hold high. Seven, six, you got this. Five, ooh, four, three, two. I approve that message. Okay, <laughs> we're going over to the other side. See, I could have been mean and made the next set go right to that same side, but you know what? I have mercy, you remember that. <laughs> Hands overhead, dead fish position, high to low. Exhale up and ease down. If you feel like you're gonna fall forward while you're doing this, that means you're doing it really well. That means you're staying right on that hip and really challenging your balance. This is a balance exercise. It should feel as such. So try your best not to lean back and rest on your booty. Okay. Ooh, I feel like that was just like a metaphor for exercise altogether. Try to not just sit in your booty and rest there. <laughs> Stay up. Let's get this last 10 seconds. Easy, hold, hold, hold. Six. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Four. Oh, there it is. Okay. And rest. Okay. Now, I want you to turn over. And we're going to get a nice double crunch, side crunch, last exercise. So, bring your knees into your elbow. You always have the option of making this a single leg movement, just for the top leg. But we're going to open and close. Bring it in. Nice. Stretch, inhale, exhale, flex. Stretch, inhale, exhale, flex. So I was doing both legs, but keeping the upper body out of it, that's a great modification of this exercise as well. If you feel like that's even too hard, you can do just the top leg, and that's open to you. If you want to make it harder, lie all the way down with the upper body, exhale, bring it up. So it's just a deeper range of motion, increasing the torque, and still breathing through. Flexing that right side oblique to bring everything back in. Let's go. Bring it. Open it. Bring it and just for extra credit. Let's hold this up. Small pulse. Small pulse. Small pulse. I didn't tell them we'd be pulsing. They're like, what are you doing? Why is there a pulse here? Because I'm me. And then rest. I told you. The next Mr. T right here. That's Mr. T. Okay. I pity the food. Um, actually, I, I actually think that that's not good on it. Okay. On your right elbow. Legs out, big inhale, and exhale, bring it in and out. Let's get it. We're about to finish this, y'all. We're about to bring this to a nice epic conclusion, okay? So if you're feeling some burn, all you've got to do is look at that finish line right out in front of you and think, I can make it. That was a shout out to Mariah Carey's Make It Happen. Okay, now if you want to make it harder, lie down. Bring it all the way up. Lie down. Bring it up. Easy, easy. That's it. Okay, nice girl. I see you. I see you. Okay, last one. Bring it up. We pulse. We pulse. Ooh, and we feel Ooh, it. Come on. Ooh. It's like sculpting the last little detail. Four, three, two, and rest. Oh, yes. Okay, um, let's just um, have a moment and just appreciate what we've done and just stay here in a corpse pose. <laughs> okay, because I'm dead, that's why, because I'm dead. Um, let's come up onto the knees. We're gonna get a little bit of a stretch on the upper body. Um, first off, I want you to put your right hand to the side. Inhale, reach your left hand overhead, push your hips towards the left as you lean towards the right, just open up that side body. Take a nice deep breath, reach even further. Exhale, come over to the other side. Left hand down. Inhale, reach towards the left. Hips are pushing towards the right. Take a nice deep breath, increase that, uh, that line on the right side, just that stretch. Inhale. Exhale, let's do it one more time. Inhale, reach. Easy. Big deep breath. Try to stretch the left side of that body. Exhale. Over the other side. One more. Inhale, reach. And exhale. Back to center. And we're going to lie on the ground. Now, hands are wide. 
I want your palms down flat. What you're gonna do is a little bit of what we call like a scorpion tail. You're gonna take your left leg up to the sky and over. Now, this might be enough for some people and as deep as you're willing to go. Left hand up towards the sky. The further back your left hand goes, the more pressure you're gonna put on opening up your shoulder and this chest. Now I want you to take the back of your hand to your butt and then slide it up towards the middle of your back. So you're opening up the chest on your left side and your right side. And I'm trying to open my left knee further and further so my hips are opening as well. And feel free to just let your head lie down. Take a nice deep breath. I'm taking my left knee towards the back of the room. And every deep breath is going to my chest, helping it stretch a little bit more. Let's get one more. And exhale back to center. Reach that left hand out. Right foot comes up, comes over. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the good stuff. My right hand comes up towards the sky. I take the back of my hand, I go right behind my butt, slide it up towards the middle of my back, let my head relax, and I keep, I keep trying to open my knee towards the back of the room or what's essentially just behind me. <sighs> and use my breath to stretch my body. Slow down my heart rate and let my body understand that the workout is over. Let's come back to center. I'm gonna put my hands out in front of my body or actually right to the side of my chest. Push my hips back to child's pose. Now first let's put our hands to the left and reach our hips towards the right. And again, deep breath in this position. We feel that stretch down the outside of the body. And switch spots. Hands to the right, hips to the left. Again, stretching that side body on the left this time. Nice deep breath. Hands to the side of the knees. Push up onto your feet. We're gonna bend the knees, hug the upper body. Deep breath, exhale up. Push your hands to the right, hips to the left. Come up, again to the other side. Inhale, push the hands to the left, hips to the right. Take your hands behind you, reach back, bend the knees, reach as far back as you can, look as far back as you can or high. Exhale forward, round that back, and you are done. Woo. Great job, y'all. Yeah. Oh, can I get this double high we five? Is it gonna work? Ah, oh, that was awesome! Oh, First try! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all.